people out there. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am Tulip Choudhury welcoming you to Hourglass Trails and hope you are all doing well. And today on the menu, I have music. And joining me today is nobody else but Amash Media's Curious Giraffes creator Dorothy Cresswell. Welcome Dorothy. Thank you so much Tulip. Thank you so much for joining me. Okay. So Dorothy, yes. please tell us your musical accomplishments. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I am happy that after over 30 years of teaching in the classroom, mm -hmm. in early childhood classrooms, I am able in retirement to focus on writing music okay. and on getting it out there. And thankfully through Amherst Media, I've been able to create a children's musical TV show called mm -hmm. The Curious Giraffe Show. And last year, it won first place for children and youth programming. Wow. In yeah. the ACM Northeast Video Awards. And that covers everything from New York State through Maine. So wow. it was quite an honor for all of us. Indeed. And um, then this past year, my second CD came out. Um, the first CD is Curious Songs for Curious Kids. Okay. The second CD is More Songs for Curious Kids. Oh. And they were given an award from the Creative Child magazine. The first one got the award of, where is it? Seal of Experience. The preferred, they got the Preferred Choice Award. Oh, okay. And the second one got the Seal of Excellence Award. Wow. And they wanted me to know that it wasn't just a few people that chose, mm -hmm. that gave the awards. It was educators and parents who listened and chose the CDs that they wanted to recognize. So I felt very encouraged to continue. So here I am. Indeed. Now, <laughs> I am more curious than ever. You had a long uh, history of being a teacher. Yes. Over how many years? Over 30 years. Wow. 30 years. She taught children and now here she is with music. Now tell me, did you have this uh, musical background working with your teaching experiences? Absolutely. Okay. I was in early childhood education and I used music every single day mm -hmm. and I gathered music from everywhere I could and I sang with them songs from my own childhood and the newest songs from new musicians. So and I also wrote songs. As the children had experiences, I wrote songs about their experiences. And if there wasn't a song on a topic, I would write a song. So it all overlapped very much. Wow, that's incredible. Now, you know, sometimes we have a background from mm -hmm. which we come up from childhood that is musical. What was something like that with you? How did you come into music? I was lucky. I yeah. was born into a family where music mm -hmm was very much a priority for many of us. My okay. parents both sang in their churches, and my oldest sister was musical on the piano, mm -hmm. and all of us sang Christmas carols, and my, one of my sisters became a professional musician. Wow. So, but I was one of the younger ones in the family, and I never felt that I reached the quality that my siblings had. Um, but I had a lot of fun in the classroom, so, and that opened up my my comfort zone that I too had something to offer. Oh, I am I not am I so now that little bit of doubt within you? I am sure it has evaporated like the clouds. Right now you are like sh showering rain everywhere <laughs> with music, <laughs> giving life. Thank you. Now tell me a little bit more. I mean we know and we have heard so much of your wonderful music for the children yes. but what about the ones that you write for the grown-ups in other words I say like adults that's why I wanted to sit more with you because I felt like I want to know more of the music that you create for the grown-up people yes I'm sure those are wonderful incredible so would like to listen to a song from you that's for the grown-up world a little bit can you do okay. that I can thank you um so. I want to say that both my children's songs and the adult songs mm -hmm. just come out of life experience. They are written for a cer certain person mm -hmm. or for a certain event that happened in our lives that 
I either want to remember and treasure or that was challenging and I needed to to work my way through mm -hmm. and share with someone about it. So, so some of my adult music is more serious and mm -hmm. some of it is more celebratory. What an incredible story. So you're like reflecting life experiences right. from your point of view and mm -hmm. talking on behalf of others too. That's right. Thank you. So let's hear to your music and the song. Okay, so let's see. Can I hold this? I you? would appreciate it sure. if, if I I'd set like it to. like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay, this is called Millions of Stars, and it will speak for itself, I think. Millions of stars light up the sky, reminding me God's always nigh. God's in the sky, and God's in my heart. We shine on. goodness you know I'd like to ask you like sing more of this and I know life is too short to divide it into all the things you want to do right mm -hmm. so I am pretty sure you'll make your own way with your adult songs too <laughs> I just love the words but how about the music the music you put into them how, how do you create those it's it's often I'll write the words mm -hmm. and I'll have a tune in my head, but it's once I pick up the guitar that the tune really lands together with the words. Sometimes, I don't know, it's a mystery. It's a mystery to me. Um, it's just that the tunes come. I, 
But I do think all my background, years and years of singing around campfires and singing in the car trips and harmonizing with my brothers and sisters helped a lot. Yeah. Huh. That's an incredible truth she has discovered. Life is a mystery. In one <laughs> point of life, we all say that, don't we? Mm -hmm. But quick reminder, before we go back and talk to Dorothy Moore, this show is divided into two parts. And after I interview her, talk with her, there's another part waiting for you where she sings on the mountains with incredible views all around us. So please do wait and make sure you watch that. Okay, now back to Dorothy again. Now Dorothy, but you have focused more on your children's music. How did you make the choice? I mean, as an adult, I would have, and truly I did. I mm -hmm. wanted to write for children and for adults and everybody, but ultimately focused on the at grown-ups world. So how did you make the choice to go into music for the children? That's a really good question yeah. because it is something I struggled with and it, <laughs> it made me wonder, people would ask what kind of music I had mm -hmm. and I had a variety of music. But I did, you know, spend 30 years of my life teaching children. Mm -hmm. I did create quite a bit of music that people asked me to record and so that it could be shared and mm -hmm. used in other classrooms. And I connected with an organization called the Children's Music Network mm -hmm. and found the most generous people supporting everyone. And what I learned there, this is what helped me move from um, maybe my voice isn't important or worth sharing to everyone's voice is important and worth sharing, mm -hmm. um, was through the Children's Music Network, I discovered some people who's, who maybe their, their performance wasn't wonderful, but their song just opened my heart mm -hmm. or brought me joy or gave me hope. And I realized we each, I was so glad that mm -hmm. those people did not hold back because they were worried about their instrument skills or their vocal skills. They shared what they had, and others could receive it and bring more hope into the world. So I thought, okay, this, this is how I think about it. Each flower has its own shape and color mm -hmm. and, and is beautiful in its own right, but together it's so much more beautiful. And so just because there are some other good musicians out there doesn't mean that I shouldn't add my variety also. So that gave me more confidence. That's incredible, isn't it? Just like we know that each and every water or drop constitute together and make the seas and the oceans, right? That's right. All together we are a flow in life. Yes. Now, can you tell me there is a you know, creative forces that for some people work at night time, sometimes at music, <laughs> sometimes in silence. Mm -hmm. What's that for you? Where do you write the songs or tune them? Probably my best time is when I'm just waking up and mm -hmm. I hear the beginning of a song. And if I get up quickly and sing it into some kind of tape recorder, mm -hmm. I capture it. It's not polished, but I caught it as it was coming. Wait, wait, that was in your head, you mean? Yes. Not on a like that we, we do on the cell phones or something. You hear the music I hear in your it head? when I'm waking up. I'm sort wow. of like, oh, this, this, these words and this tune are going oh. around in my head. Wow. And then I think, oh, I better gra catch it while I can. Oh, well, because hold it, hold it, hold it. I know from yeah, experience it, it will be gone yeah, if, yeah. I, if I don't save it. That's so, the creative force in you, right? That comes yes, to you. Wow. Yes. So then I can capture it like mm -hmm. on the recording device on my phone. And then I can go do other things, mm -hmm. take care of responsibilities. Then later in the day, or even a different day, I can play it back and say, oh, I would like to add this idea, or I could make mm -hmm. the tune more interesting. So then I work on it whenever I get the time. It's something like poetry coming to you, right? When you write mm -hmm. the poets, say like the verses come to us at right. certain times and we capture them. Right. So you capture your song. Now, do you hear the music too in your head when you uh, see usually, them? Usually, usually lyrics? I get, usually I get wow. some words with some tune. But it My often goodness. does need a little bit of, of polishing up later. 
but I usually get essentially both parts together. So. That's incredible. But that reminds me, you know, because we are in an incredible digital era. So from your beginning of your life to how you used to listen to music, mm -hmm. to how you listen to music now in your head, mm -hmm. does it mix in with this digital era of all the music that we are going, getting on the internet and everything? Uh, so, have... yeah, I'm sort of, yeah. um, I'm a little older in my life, yeah. and so I'm not into all of the digital ways uh -huh. of getting music, but I do appreciate technology in, like, that you can capture a song mm -hmm. or that someone across the country, I can say to them, oh, the children on my show are asking about aging and how to talk to them about grandparents getting older. And so I can write my friends on the computer and say, does anybody have a song about getting older and helping children understand the cycle wow. of life? And they can send me their songs, and it gives me ideas. Well, that song is pretty good, but it's not really the way I want to approach it. And then I'll write a no new song, but use both songs on the show when the show comes along. So technology is awesome. But yeah. I have to say, I do not overwhelm myself Mm -hmm. with listening to music all the time or then it would be hard to hear my songs you are so, so. right isn't it i mean the good sides and the like down to root sides that we have of so. technology balancing right. both and it's amazing the way we connect to remote corners of the earth right through the internet and everything and it's like a whole family coming together yes and uh, now we can't end this show without talking a little bit about Bridges Coffee, can we? Yes, I would That's love to. That's where we met, right? And we started singing. And I started singing after 30 years. And it was like, no one is going to say you are bad or good. I can sing my heart. And that's what you reminded me when you were telling about how you connected to this singing world. Yes. So how did you start the Bridges? Can you tell us a little about this open mic you started? I it's also amazing. was thinking about Bridges. Yeah. So um, also when I was retired, mm -hmm. I have always felt an, a thrill to get to know other people's mm -hmm. voices and other people's ideas, whether they are the, um, just, I just love getting to know and hearing other people's voices, whether they are young children or whether they are older people or from anywhere. So I created an open mic mm -hmm. um, at the where I go to church, they have space. Now, I didn't want it to be a church-sponsored event. I wanted everyone to feel welcome. Mm -hmm. It is sponsored by the church in that they provide the space, and I very much appreciate it. They also provide some funds for the refreshments. But otherwise, we create it, and I'm happy to s So the first year, there was another person who shared my vision, and Hannah Elliott helped to host it. Mm -hmm. We were co-hosts because I knew that for it to last, I needed to have a co-host. Yeah. But then, when Hannah's life took her other directions, you and I met. Yes. And nice you really be. embraced the vision of having all people have a chance mm -hmm. to be witnessed and heard and affirmed. And we have a really good time, don't we? Yes, we do around the year. <laughs> and it's with the friends who are... Regulars there, and yes. they look forward to it. Yes, and the amazing share. It's not only music we do. Do we mm -hmm. sharing of life experience? Even if you have arts, and sculpture, and drawing. Yes, life stories yes. being told, and yes. so that happens every second Saturday at First Congregational Church, and thanks to Bob Stover, yes. he allows us to and helps us to share the floor of Not Bread Alone. Can participate that yes. would like to. And so. there's endless to know about Dorothy Crosswell and her creativity, how she has contributed to life and brought everybody joy just being in this world with us. And as for me, I am one of those lucky ones who met her and found life in a beautiful way. And to know more about Dorothy and her world, please go to her website, www.dorothycresswell.org. Yes. And from Dorothy and from me, 
thanks to Amherst Media for yes. making this show. Yes. And until we meet again, a quick reminder, don't forget to wait and catch up the next half where Dorothy is singing on the mountains, remember? That's <laughs> awesome on a first, one of the first fall days. Yes. So until we meet again, stay well and healthy <laughs> and be happy. I'm Tulip Chaudhary. Thank you for being with me. Thank you, Tulip. Hi, everyone. This is a wonderful, nice fall day, and we are going to listen to Dorothy sing by that beautiful stream and the woodland. <laughs> so this first song is called Earth Mother. I come to the woodland, I come to the water, for I am her daughter, with her I'm at home. I come to my mother, the earth moss and water, the rocks and the ripples of sunlight and stream. Pressures, its goals and its measures. Still, I find my treasure in my earth mother's arms. I love her, she loves me, her beauty fills me. I rest in the comfort that she's always there. Fullness of being, peacefully receiving me just as I am. So I come to the water, the soft, calming water. There I hear my mother Love is a waterfall. Love is a waterfall, a great rushing waterfall that pulses from within. Nothing can stop its flow, goes where it's gonna go. We're never the same again. Love is the air we breathe within, without we do receive its light and joy and strength. Without it we don't exist, with it we are limitless, it's boundless in its breath and Light will lead us in and out. There is so much to see. Love sometimes seems to ache, and all our strength it takes to understand its ways. Don't stand aside to think. Dive in. Letting go of everything we think we know and trusting all to God. Then we have inner peace, sweet deep inner peace, and we are one with all. So this is a song for my friend Helen. And in the song, Helen reminds me of a tree and 
a dolphin. So listen and know my friend Helen. Oh, Helen's a tree with her roots going deep. Her trunk, it is strong and her branches can reach. Her core is so steady, her spirit expands. And she is at one with the air and the land. Oh, she has been growing through all of her summer green times and through winter cold fears she stood like a pillar supporting them all but now she is weary from holding it all now our God is Transforming from plant into mammal this time. Our Helen's a dolphin, so free and so fine. Again she dives deep and again reaches high. a tree with her roots growing deep. Okay, this song applies to many situations. It's a song of encouragement. Oh, I'm so inspired by the human spirit, the human spirit, the human spirit, and how we carry on through the hard times. Cheer it! I'm impressed with how we carry on. In some places they have had high winds and flooding. Underwater they lost power, some lost homes. And they had to leave and be rescued by strangers. But they learned that others care, they're not alone. Oh, I'm so inspired by the human spirit, the human and spirit, the human spirit, and how we carry on through the hard times. Cheer it, I'm impressed with how we carry on. In some places there has been a drought and famine, and it's hard to get their water and their food. Then some people who had more reached out to help them. Cause they had a caring, sharing attitude. Oh, I'm so inspired by the human spirit, the human spirit, the human spirit, and how we carry on through the hard times. Cheer it, I'm impressed with how we carry on. In some places they have had to flee from fire. Leaving all they had in moments was a must. Shelters were set up by rescuers who helped them. Once again, caring strangers they could trust. Oh, I'm so inspired by the human spirit, the human spirit, the human spirit, and how they carry on through the hard times. Cheer it, I'm impressed with how they
they carry on. Sometimes you will get the help or be the helper. So be ready to step up and lend a hand. We can all be there to care for one another. And together we will do the best we can. Oh, I'm so inspired by the human spirit, the human spirit, the human spirit, and how we carry on through the hard times. Cheer it, I'm impressed with how we carry on. So we are up here on Mount Pollux in South Amherst, Massachusetts. And from this hilltop, I've been told that you can see Vermont in the distance, and maybe even New Hampshire, because our three states do meet in one corner. So, my next song. I get surprised by the light in your eyes. I get surprised by the light in your eyes. It makes me feel so glad I've arrived. I get surprised by the light in your eyes. And I get surprised by the love in your heart. I get surprised by the love in your hug, it makes me feel so welcome and snug. I get surprised by the love in your hug, makes me want to sing when we're gathering, makes me want to sing and sing. surprised by the fun in your laugh. I get surprised by the fun in your laugh. It makes me feel glad I found you at last. I get surprised by the fun in your laugh. And I get surprised by the care in your heart. I get surprised by the care in your heart. It makes me feel like I am a part. I get surprised by the care in your heart. Makes me want to sing when we're gathering. This song was written in memory of my friend Jean Hosmer. God, there cannot be a reason that will ever satisfy my asking. There is no song can sing my sadness, yet I sing for her.
the here and now The safety of this sanctuary joined us somehow As women and mothers and sisters in faith We opened our hearts and our souls So I'll be breaching past all I can see Stretch till I feel you as close as can be For bullets and anger and thoughts that divide Cannot stop the love and the life that's inside The presence of our sister spirit always will survive Yesterday, today and always I know the truth of you will stay find a way to help a sister or a brother through the fray. I release you into God's own grace today for your soul to know deep peace is all I pray. Now this song was written for my mother after she died, but it makes me feel very close to her. And I hope it will help you feel close to dear ones who have gone beyond in your life. And it's like she's singing to me. I'm gonna be with you in a different way now. It's a mystery somehow, but true. your eyes to the colors in the sky that's just me there saying hi or as you fall asleep you'll sense something calm and deep it's just a sweet dreams kiss from me to you from me to you it'll feel brand new but we'll always Together, like the air is part of weather When it seems that we're apart I'll be right there in your heart Closer now than ever Just a different point of view When you're caught in the rain Soaking wet from all that rain I'm pouring all my love on butterfly I could be saying hi to you when you notice a new bird song stay a while I'm near when the snow is gently falling feel my love is here when you find a quiet moment close your eyes and see if you sense me right here have one more song I would love to include. It's the song I wrote to Dusty ten years ago. What are you thinking? Oh, what do you feel? Am I making this up? Or could this love be real? You draw me in with your eyes and your smile. Your voice makes me 
feel like I'm riding the Nile, floating along now. I gaze at the sky, floating on hope. All the world passes by, passing the Sphinx and the pyramids too. Join me, dear Dusty, the call is so strong. I long to dive deep and then come up for air, laughing for joy that we're there and we dare. Oh, what a journey and oh, what a ride that I've been. Since I looked in your eyes. Love you. Love sometimes seems to ache, and all our strength it takes to understand.